Hi, everybody, and welcome to a Powerhouse Podcast. Today's podcast will include a highlighted recap of the topics and conversations we had on Sunday, November 6, 2022. My name is Bob Andrade, and this is a Powerhouse Podcast made just for you. This week I started out about 30 minutes earlier than usual because I played an array of praise and worship songs with the sounding of the trumpet right off the balcony. You see, on a usual Sunday morning, a nearby church rings their church bells. This week, Powerhouse released the Spirit of God through the sounding of the trumpet. The sounding of the trumpet is one way of releasing a blessing over our community. This coming Sunday, the trumpet will be back. And so come by a little earlier, if you'd like, for a time of community worship. What's the point? I put up a picture of our recent podcasts and asked this question. What's the point of all of this? What's the point of everything that we're learning? What's the point of gathering together on Sundays? What's the point of all this learning stuff? We pause for a moment and individually ask God. And the accumulative answer was one word. Relationship. Relationship with God and relationship with each other. That is what all of this is about. The remnant. I was listening to a Zoom call I missed and one pastor asked the question, how do I get more people to come to prayer meetings? For pastors and leaders, this is the question of the century. And this was the answer that was given. You must understand that God has always utilized remnants. You see, a remnant is a smaller portion of a larger grouping. I couldn't help at that moment to think about Gideon, where he experienced working with a remnant when God whittled down his army of 32,000 to 300. And then with that 300, tens of thousands were defeated. Now back to our Zoom call. He went on to say that it's usually the remnant of a local church that holds up the entire church. I began to think of all the different churches I had ever worked in in a span of 34 years of ministry, and I realized that he was so right. This is why prayer meetings are poorly attended, but concerts and performances are not. It always seems as though it's the same group of people that show up for most everything. It's those people that are the remnant of that church. It's always a remnant that supports and holds up a local church. And then God said to me right at that moment, Powerhouse, you do not have a remnant within you. You are the remnant but you are not a remnant for a local church. I have raised you up to be a remnant for a community. A community is not determined by a zip code or a city map. A community is that which is around you, family, friends, acquaintances, neighbors, coworkers, that share some kind of a common thread of interest with you. This was such a confirmation and affirmation of what God is doing in our midst, not to mention why we are the way we are. T.F. Tenney once said this, Jesus fed 5,000, but only 500 followed him after lunch. He had 12 disciples, but only three went further in the garden, and only one stood with him at the cross. The closer you get to the cross, the smaller the crowd becomes. You see, gone are the days of waiting for the professionals to do it. This is not how the church was originally set up. The church didn't multiply by the efforts of the apostles. The church multiplied by the efforts of men and women like you and me that carried on what the apostles started. This is why at Powerhouse we are only raising up leaders, by letting God lead. And when we do that, he will put on our minds what is needed 
at the right time. And then he will put something else on someone else's mind, and then someone else. Our job is to ask, wait, listen, and then obey. Leaders move intentionally, while bystanders wait for leaders to initiate. We must stop looking to the professionals for everything that needs to be done. It's time to step up and step out of our playpen and be what we were always meant to be, leaders. And leaders move intentionally. It's time to rise up. It's time for you and me to rise up. You do not need ministers to wait on you. It's time to step out in faith and be a leader. And leaders are intentional. The great philosopher Tommy Lasorda once said, there are three kinds of people. People who watch things happen, people who make things happen, and people who wonder what happened. When God puts something on your heart, say something, do something. This world teaches us how to be offended and how to be a victim and how to put the blame on someone else. I want to know what God is wanting to do. And I know that he's not only going to tell me because that was the old wineskin way of doing church. In fact, I don't think that we will ever need a professional staff because we are not raising up a church. We're raising up a community. So one of our goals is to raise up leaders to make an impact in the community around us. And as we disciple people, God will strategically place us in places and in situations that need the presence of God. Because there was so much covered in our conversation this past Sunday, this podcast will be in two parts. And this is the end of part one. It's not over. In fact, it's only just begun. Thank you.